chesting after running on that better surface there in the middle. All right. Yeah, turn him around, Ronnie. Right. Up we go. Go! And go. Uh, now go. we're ready, and they're off-hand racing. And, oh, what's happened here? Highly likely, and Lonely Boy both jammed into each other here, and both riders are out. So, uh, wow, that's strange. I haven't seen anything like that. So, uh, Highly Likely and uh, Lonely Boy out of the race already. It, uh, they didn't even get away. Now, meanwhile, we've got Kings Deep taking the lead here from the Oyster Man and Wilbur, just as you behind those. And then the Fox, there's the five of them, make play over towards the uh, third in the centre. And uh, coming to it now. And it is Kings Deep in front here for Sean Phelan. And shows the way by three lengths from Wilbur, just as she's the inside. And between them is the Oyster man to this bigger fence here up and over they go and a right hand down as they spin around this corner Wilbur's around those uh, highly likely he's galloping through on the inside here trying to follow the field I hope he's not going to be a problem when they come back into the middle uh, on the uh, right into the middle here with what was the water jump he is back with them now geez clever and uh, the fox is last of all so they're all keeping a weary eye on this riderless runner here as King Steep uh, taking the one or siding up to the one about to take them back into the centre again and has a clear lead and ridden into it as well. Got over it okay from the Oyster Man and just as she is third, that riderless one's in amongst them there. And then we have Wilbur and the last of them here is the Fox as they're about to head to the double now on this first circuit. Oh, he just about ran that leader off there as they come to this uh, first of the double. By geez, all sorts of problems. He has uh, run him off and cannoned into him there. And so we've got another one out here. Kings Deep, uh, the rider was unseated there. But this rider is highly likely he's in all sorts of a mood today as they're about to gallop over and uh, to the one near the 1,000 metres. So two riderless ones amongst them here. Oh, gee, we're down to four. Uh, the riders are OK. That's good. And the horses as well as they work across the top on this first circuit. And here it is, the Oyster Man from Justice Sheer. And now the Fox goes forward over on the outside to be competitive. And Wilbur is just in behind these runners. So uh, Clark of the Course got a bit of a job here to try and uh, get these out, Robbie Lammers. But he'll uh, have a good crack at it anyway as they're about to swing across the top and come back to uh, the start point here. And uh, we have these uh, two riderless horses uh, with uh, taking no notice of the Clark of the Course. So let's get back to the race anyway. And it is the Fox and front and he's about to come back to the start fence up and over it okay the oyster man leapt it well and then just as she is third four lengths behind those and Wilbur's the last of the quartet remaining a very strange happenings here the fox and the oyster man a little between them as they take the next Gary Walsh and just as she is happy just to sit back off these a couple or three lengths why wouldn't you with these riderless ones in there and now we've got people out there trying to grab them but uh, no luck there and they're going to re-meet uh, the rest of the field here as it is the fox in front and those other two running free the fox from the oyster man just as she is uh, just a bit slow at that one and Wilbur is uh, back behind that for uh, Stephen Karnasek as they run across here now what are these two oh dearie me they're uh, jumping in the, the running rails and all sorts of things here and uh, over the uh, plough as well. By oh, gee, there's funny happenings, but at least they're away from the remaining four horses. Well, have you ever seen anything like it as that? We've got a full moon, or what have we got? Anyway, uh, as they head up into the back of the track, uh, into the middle again, this final circuit, and the free going, the fox in front from the Oyster Man, just as she's three lengths away on a nice rain, and then Wilbur now starting to move into the race over on the inside. So any one of the four, as they're about to head up now to uh, the double four, the last time. Let's have a look at them and uh, the Oyster Man and the Fox coming to the second of that double and then we have Justice and Wilbur as they're about to uh, run over to that one by the 1100 metres. This quartet with only three lengths over them and here the Oyster Man and the Fox coming to the next one. Up and over they go. Justice he's just ploughed through the last couple here and over on the inside of that runner then is going to be Wilbur. So the Fox, the Fox a length in front of the Oyster Man. Wilbur the inside. Justice he is over on on the outside, a little between the four as they come down to uh, this uh, man-made fence here, which some can find a little bit tricky, the fox over it, from uh, the Oyster Man, just as she over on the outside, now trying to get a move on, the fox is trying to pinch a break, and then Wilbur is back in behind these, so they're about to gallop onto the course proper, they've got 500 metres to go, and the fox and just as she's now having a crack at it over on the outside, we've got uh, on the inside
Bride, Caroline Kennedy, with the Fox and wider out, just as she for Gary Walsh, and then the Oyster Man over on the inside of these for Hamish McNeil as they come down to the last. And Wilbur's trying to have one last slingshot at them, coming down to the last now. And just as she got over it in front from the Fox and on the inside, the Oyster Man, and then wider out, we've got uh, Wilbur, but now he starts to assert just as she, and just as she's a favourite, goes on to score in a bizarre race here. Second over the Oyster Man, the Fox was third, and Wilbur, the only other one to complete. Boy, favourites delivered okay, $2 a dollar ninety ahead of four, the Oyster Man 230. At, uh, at the start, two of them out, and then another one through the run, being punched out there, was uh, Kings Deep, so hopefully all horses and riders are okay, but he's been able to deliver, he probably didn't jump as cleanly.